Hi I'm Monk and this is the Monk Way. How much do you need to start investing in the market? We'll take a look at the optimal number and some example stocks too. This will help anyone new to investing without much money. Subscribe and hit that bell for more investing videos, I make them every day, and leave a like if you have $100. What's the best amount of money to start investing with? The simple answer is pretty much any amount if you're American and have access to Robinhood. Robinhood allows you to trade any number of stocks for free. Let's just say you had $20, something anyone can afford. We'll look at some normal companies you can buy for under that amount. There's a risky stock called Snapchat, you probably use it every day, and it's only $10 right now. We also have AMD stocks, it's only $12 and I'm actually invested in it. If you have a bit more money, you can buy stocks like PayPal at $77, Walmart at $84, or Micron at $53. All good stocks I would invest in. As you can see, stock prices come in many different variations. If you're starting with less than $100, and you have access to Robinhood. This is going to be one of the most valuable experiences of your life. Don't try to make a lot of money, the best you'll do is double your $100. Instead, use this small amount of money to get a feel for how to trade stocks. Look at how the market reacts to bad or good news, and what happens after a stock releases earnings. There's no big difference between trading with $100 and $100,000, it's a matter of risk. If you don't have access to Robinhood, there's a very different answer. Let's say you had $100 and wanted to trade stocks. In theory, you could buy some stocks and have it cost you $7 in fees. To sell those same stocks would cost you $7 as well. That's $14 in total, or 14% of your $100, meaning as soon as you buy a stock, you'll be down 14%. That is not a good deal for you. This stock trading fee goes down exponentially the more money you put in. For example if you have $1,000, that fee is only 1.4%. For a $10,000 trade, it's almost nothing at 0.14%. So the optimal amount per trade is at least $1,000. 1.4% is not hard to recover in the market. Now let's look at a real-world example using your first thousand. AMD is a risky company people like to swing trade because it bounces between $10 and $14 a lot. I bought in at $9.70, if I only had $1,000, that's 102 shares, or $989.40, your brokerage will charge you a fee of $7, so a total of $996.40, at this point, you own 102 shares, the stock can go up or down, it's pretty random in the short term, AMD did go up over 25% in the past 2 weeks, the price right now is $12.30. So your $1,000 just turned into $1,254, a 25% increase as well. Selling it would cost you another $7, $12.54 minus 7 equals $12.47, or a profit of $247, that 1.4% fee wasn't bad, your 25% profit is 24% after fees. Huge spikes like this is not common, realistically, a good return is 3% in under a month. Because stocks tend to go up slowly, it's a better idea to keep your stock for a long time, over a year. This way, if a stock is up 30% next year, that 1.4% fee is almost nothing, letting you enjoy the profits. Let's look at the other side of starting with little money. If you started with only $100, let's say you bought 9 shares of Snapchat at $10 a share. After a fee of $7, it'll cost you $97 to buy those stocks. Two weeks later, the stock is up 1% at $10 and 10 cents and you decide to sell it because you stopped using Snapchat, selling 9 shares at that price means you get $90.90, plus you have to pay $7 out of that money. Giving you 83.9, your $97 turned into $83.90, a 13.5% loss, a loss of 14% straight away if you decided to buy stocks with only $100, the market on average moves up 10% a year, you can definitely beat that but getting even 20% is not too realistic for the average person, if you want to trade with this little money, it can still teach you a lot, in this situation, you want to only focus on how the stock moves, not how much you can make, because it won't be much. Make sure to check out my stock market group, it includes live updates of when I buy or sell a stock. Some recent trades include AMD, up 25%, and Facebook, up 6%. I'll be making some new trades in the coming week. It also includes my personal stock portfolio. There's a section for stocks I'm interested in buying, and analysis of the current market. A great group for investors who need that extra edge in trading stocks. Look in the description for a 50% off coupon for life, limited time offer. Subscribe and hit that bell for more investing videos. I make them every day. And leave a like if you're ready to trade your first stock. Keep watching to learn about investing, the monk way.